gonna ask Say you it again. Question. This is gonna be an interview about like how it is to be to a coach for high school. Okay. Gotcha. Level. All right. So, how is the education to like be um, a high school coach? Um, in order to be a high school head coach, uh, it's good to be in, a build, in the building and be a teacher. Uh, and so, um, usually you go to a four-year um, university and um, you pick for the major that you're interested in, uh, interested in teaching. In my case, um, I was interested in exercise science and then health education. Uh, and so, my degree was in um, exercise and sports science with an emphasis in uh, PE and health education. When so four years, yeah, um, I was at Western Oregon for three years and then transferred to Oregon State to finish my bachelor's and um, it took me, normally it takes a teacher um, about five years to get their master's degree. Uh, I was on the slow path, it took me six years to get my master's degree. <laughs> um, so uh, why did you decide to become a coach? Like. Was it like a path you've always wanted it to go, or was it like a later choice in life? Um, I think it's a path that I've always kind of uh, wanted to go. My dad was a high school football coach and teacher for 30 years. Um, and growing up um, as a kid in grade school, I was uh, the ball boy for his football team, and I always really enjoyed Friday night football. Um, and um, it was just one of those things that um, I didn't think I could live without, and I really, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed everything about getting ready for Friday night and then uh, the games on Friday night. Regardless if uh, we won or lost, uh, it's always been really, really fun. The preparation and then, then that reward on Friday night of getting to play in the football game. Yeah. What advice would you have for me if I decide to become a football coach? Um, I think studying a lot um, and and watching. Uh, different levels of football, uh, whether it's high school football, um, small college football, um, or big time college football. I think studying all levels and see what mistakes kids make with technique or fundamentals, and then become an expert in a position, um, whether it is quarterbacks, whether it's defensive backs. Um, and that's kind of how I got my start. I was a defensive back in college, and my first job coaching, um, I coached the corners and safeties, uh, and I really, really enjoyed it, and um, just became an expert in it. So why is this an important job to you? Um, I think it's important because I learned a lot about how to handle adversity from my high school football coaches, and just being able to pass um, those skills along to kids, um, I think is really important. Um, I don't think um, we, we talk about um, adversity and how to handle adversity um, as much as we should. And football is really a game of adversity. And uh, regardless if you win, regardless if you lose on a Friday night, there's going to be some adversity um, throughout that game, throughout that 48 minutes. And then during the week, um, you know, going to practice every day after being in school for eight hours isn't easy. It's a tough game, and I just think it teaches a lot of life lessons. Yeah. What made you coach the school? Like, what made you decide to choose softball? Um, I had been an assistant coach uh, for about um, 12 years, uh, 10. Um, I coached with my dad at Sweet Home. That was my first job out of college. Um, I started teaching and coaching. I was the defensive coordinator for him uh, when I was about 24 years old. And um, I was ready to be a head coach. Um, and um, they, South Albany had a, a teaching job open. Um, and I knew some of the people on staff here. And um, it was in the Valley. And I think that was important for me and my family. Um, it's close to where uh, we grew up and where we had family. And our family is really important to us. So that, that drew me to South Albany as well. Yeah. How much do you make as a coach? Um, you, we don't make as much as the coaches in college. Um, yeah, and our so what what pays the bills for my family is actually um, my teaching job um, because um, with coaching you get a a stipend which is a percentage of your salary, right? So whatever I make a year as my teaching salary, 
um, I get a percentage and it's around um, right I think right now uh, I think each year it's right around six thousand dollars that I, I pick, get paid for for high school football yeah. mm -hmm. so if you had the choice would you stay um, a high school coach or would you go with like college or NFL if you had the choice um, if you would have asked me this uh, about 20 years ago um, I would have said college definitely um, but now um, seeing uh, just how much college coaches are on the road recruiting uh, I'd pick high school football uh, I think it's the purest form of football and um, you know you you get to work with kids that have never played football before um, and that's that's uh, part of the challenge that I like um, and um, yeah I pick I'd pick high school now but 20 years ago um, I probably would have picked college I flirted with a couple of college jobs and I've been um, I, I had been offered a couple of graduate assistant jobs. Uh, one of my college coaches at Western, he's the head coach at Northern Arizona University now, um, and I, I had been in talks with him when he was at Washington State to go up and be a GA graduate assistant for him. Um, but uh, high school football just called my name, and I'm glad. I'm glad I'm where I'm at. How much training do you need as a coach? Um. I think being a player um, is very important. And then um, finding a coach or a program where um, you can have a small role to start your coaching career is really important. My first, my first coaching job, I think I was uh, like volunteer coaching. I was probably 22 years old. And um, I went to practice and I just followed um, the receiver's coach around and just learn different trigger terms. Um, so I think training is really, really important. Um, and then being around different levels of football. So if your goal is to really be a high school or college football coach, starting while you're in high school coaching a team, whether it's a spring flag football team at the YMCA or the Boys and Girls Club, um, just to get and find your coaching voice because that's one of the toughest things to find is when you're young and you're close to the same age as some of the, the seniors on the football team, um, it's hard to find your voice early in your coaching career. As you get older and more confident, it's much easier. So as much training as you can and as much coaching, whether it's coaching at a camp, um, whether it is coaching a flag football team, um, and then just watching a lot of football. Yeah. So what is your strategy as a coach? Like, what's the game plan? Um, the, our game plan is going to vary week to week depending on what the other team does offensively or defensively. Um, and um, we meet uh, during the, the football season. Every Sunday our coaches meet for about three hours, um, watch film, and put together our game plan. Um, we don't just watch film for those three hours. Most of our coaches Friday night after a game um, will break the film down immediately, whether it's a group of us or individually. Uh, and then our Saturdays, most of our Saturdays are spent watching film um, and getting kind of our individual game plan ready. And when we meet Sunday, that's when we tie everything together and put the game plan uh, together for the week. What, what, was your goal? what is your goal for next year? Um, I think our goal, uh, just like it is every year, is to compete for the conference championship and make a dent in the state playoffs. Um, and I, I really feel like we have the kids to do it. We've been working really hard in the weight room this off season, so I'm excited to get started. Do you like teaching in the classroom or on the field more? Um, I like both because it's the same. Um, I, I really enjoy I really enjoy teaching um, uh, health and physical education. Um, and I, I really enjoy coaching too. Uh, coaching definitely, being able to coach football definitely drew me to be a teacher uh, because I'm able to do something um, that I love, coach football, but I also really, really love teaching as well. How do you balance football and family life? Like uh, it's tough. Um, my wife during the football season, during the summer, my wife um, does a lot around the house and she's responsible for getting our two boys to their football practices um, and she's kind of taking care of the house uh, but we have a really good relationship and the fact that when I'm done with football um, I come home and I get the boys from school and I get dinner ready and help out around the house uh, and so it's, it can be tough during the football season uh, but we've been doing this now for 17 or 18 years uh, so we've gotten pretty good at it. Okay. That's it. Um
I really like doing this. Cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.